I can hear someone say, why is it awkward? So maybe someone is connecting to me and saying, why is it awkward? And I want to see if I can answer that for you or your situation or your energy in general. Why is it awkward? Why is it awkward? Why is it awkward? Why is what awkward? Let's resolve that first. That answers it. You know, I was confused at first because there is someone here that is thinking so much about someone. And I'm going to say you, okay, because uh, otherwise I'm going to I'm, I'm going to gay. I'm going to say someone and someone and someone and someone. So I'm going to say there is someone that is thinking about you like crazy, like sleepless night kind of thinking. And they just don't know what to do about it. There seems to be something in the way. What is in the way? Stagnation. We know that. Okay, the hangman. But what is in the way? What is causing the stagnation with this person or connection? change, transformation. So there could be unstable grounds underneath the both of you or one of you. Because you do have the lovers. They feel a strong connection to you. Okay, this is a soul connection. But it seems like the circumstance is not allowing this connection to come to fruition. And it's telling me that you will know why. Why wait? What is in... What is... Why is there a delay? There is a commitment of some kind towards someone else. So there is a third energy here. There is attachment here. This contract could be even a spell work or um, someone doing a spell to keep someone tied up to them. The reason why this this uh, connection is awkward because there is a third energy that is trying to prevent this union from happening. And they have the devil's energy. You know what's strange is that your connection with this person that is asking why is it awkward is a powerful connection and when i say powerful it could have an influence on many lives somehow and so there are at least one or two people that are in the way of allowing this connection from happening it almost feels as if like there is a spirit in particular, that is trying to prevent this union. By prevention, I mean creating circumstance that doesn't allow the both of you to align. Which is very interesting. So... It feels like there is a spirit of some kind, or maybe a person, but I'm leaning more towards a spirit, or maybe a 
a spirit and a person because it feels like there is something on an energetic level that is preventing the alignment between you and this person and this person is asking why is it awkward because of the circumstance so energetically you could be both feeling each other but in the physical or in in circumstantial uh, alignment there is none i don't know what this is trying to say it seems yeah there is definitely someone like there is um there is energy being involved in this connection meaning there is someone or something that is trying to prevent a union between you and this person yeah exactly you know there is something trying to prevent this union i can't say that enough what should what should this person or you do okay so i'm seeing that you should keep your life private that you should keep to yourself keep your cards close to your heart so basically, don't don't trust anyone, <laughs> um, because you have a lot of eyes on you. And when I say you have a lot of eyes on you, I mean that you could be popular, you could be cutthroat, blunt, or you could be someone that you know is straightforward. Uh, could be even open, meaning that you could freely express yourself or um not hide anything so your life could be public to some extent so what you should do perhaps this could be the perhaps this advice is also for the person that is asking why is this so awkward so but either way for this connection to align there is something about ha having it in private um keeping it to yourself not exposing or not publicize publicizing publicizing is that a word not making it public okay so in a way it's like you have to be with this person first and strengthen your your bond first and, and align it's like it's like your advice is to uh, be with this person and create this strong bond first before anyone knows about it and you know why I get that you know why I feel like that makes sense it's because you two are it's like there is an awkward energy between the two of you. It's because other people know about your business. And I can see like really weird energy. That's why I'm like doing a little dance with my hand. <laughs> okay. I see like two circular moving energy balls. <laughs> uh, spirit like to make jokes. Maybe it was one of you, because like I was going to talk about the balls and the energy between them, but then I got like a funny image. So anyways, so I'm seeing these energies and there is like this energy between them. Yeah. Okay. Keep it clean. But this energy between them is uh, another spirit or another person that could be between the both of you. So. What I'm getting is that you need to first unite so that the energy has nothing to be in it. Does that make sense? Like I need a whiteboard or something so I can explain. 
So the union has to happen first so that there is no place for another energy or a third energy to come in between the two of you or between the two of you. But the thing is, I feel like one of you or the both of you are running your mouth about the connection, about the other person. And it's creating this third energy to, it's like an invitation to the third energy to be between the two of you. And this third energy doesn't have to be a lover. It can be. But it can be literally anything. A friend, family member, a lover, a spirit, a spirit, a passing spirit. You know, or could be, could be deliberate spirit. That's why I mentioned the spell work at first. So it could be someone sending a spirit to watch you. But it feels as if, like, you need to shut your mouth. Keep it to yourself and be in union with this person in private, secretly, until you have formed that bond where you are in alignment together, where these two balls become one ball because you have kind of emerged. Whatever this is, okay? And then you become one. Once you become one, there is no way to come between the two of you. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And that's why it's awkward for the both of you at this point. Maybe it's awkward for one person, the person that asked. But for this confusion, for this awkwardness to go away, there needs to be the union first. The awkwardness is being created by the circumstances that are being put on you by other people's energies or other spirits' energies. It's, it doesn't belong to you or this person. Okay? So that is the solution that I'm seeing for you. And it's not going to be one of those connections where it's easy to put out there. Because, like I said, it feels like a power couple and it feels as if, like, there will be people that are in the way of this powerhouse energy. Because it can be threatening to many or it can affect and influence, whether in a good way or a bad way, other people. Kapish? Kabu? Kakaka? Kaki? I don't know what that was about. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. I wish you the best of luck and uh, I'll see you soon.